Now, Local 10 is speaking one-on-one -on -one with Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido. He claims Colombian officials threatened to deport him after he traveled to Bogota to escape persecution. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live in Doral with much more for us. Cody. And Calvin and Nicole, he says that it was only when U.S. officials intervened that he was allowed on a flight to Miami. We spoke today about his personal future, the future for his country. And now that he no longer calls himself acting president, the role he may play there going forward. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Well, I feel safe. Wang Guai, though, sitting down with us safely in Florida and out of his country, where he spent four years trying to wrestle away the presidency from Nicolas Maduro. I worry about my family that uh, is still in Venezuela. His wife and two young daughters remain in the country. Mi principal deber es protegerlas. He says he's still exploring options to keep them safe. Why, though, crossed into Colombia and under pressure from the Colombians and with help from the U.S., then caught a flight to Miami. Más de que, que asilo, como tú decías, de buscar protección, no solamente para mí, sino para esto, para los que están en terreno. He's here, he says, to look for protection, not just for himself, but for his country. He provided hope of a democratic transition to Venezuelans around the world. But that excitement later fizzled, for some turning to frustration. I think some people feel a little disappointed, right? I mean, you represented hope to so many people. Cuando una tarea pendiente que no lograste en el tiempo, en el caso de Venezuela no es poco. When there's a task to be done, he says, that hasn't been completed, it's normal to feel frustration. <laughs> Most in the diaspora, he says, like the Venezuelans we saw at the studios for media outlet EVTV in Doral, have greeted him warmly, hopeful that he will still form part of a democratic transition back home. Es derrotar una dictadura que asesina, que tortura. Estos miles que quieren regresar a su país. It's about defeating a dictatorship that murders and tortures, he says. Thousands or even millions of people want to go back home. And why though plans to travel to Washington next week, he will be meeting with congressional leaders trying here to develop a coalition that can pressure for free and fair elections in Venezuela. Those are scheduled for next year. We're live in Doral. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. Cody, thank you.